Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please find me like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to our Father. You know, this message is just a case of somebody being ignorant. This is what the Lord just told me. Uh, they were ignorant. It's not that they were demonic or witches or wizards. So I need you to understand this kind of message. They were ignorant. They were ignorant, you know. Ignorant is really not an excuse, but I am going to beg you, uh, somebody you care about so much that you love, that suddenly betrayed you and start loving somebody else, that refused to choose you and they go and choose somebody else, you know. And you can see that it is not because they are witches or wizards, but it is just out of ignorance. They get carried away with thinking that, oh, uh, the, the, the ground is greener on the other side. The trees are greener. The fruit are greener. But it is not greener. The truth is that what I'm hearing, even if you don't want them back in your life, try to pray for them. Because I hear this one. Somebody is just being destroyed, completely destroyed by someone that they choose over you, you know. Sometimes you try to warn people, but they don't listen. You try to warn a lot of people, they don't listen. You try to warn people, they don't listen. When you release messages of warning, they're like, ah, I don't want to be a prophet of doom. Hey, this is what I'm choosing. Well, get out. What is your business? Until the result start coming. That time, the warfare prayers that we were supposed to, to not to arrive at, we now arrive there and start praying it. Because of disobedience, because of human, human nature, people already concluded what they want before asking God. That is why you see that we have so many battles we are fighting now. Many believers, Christians, people that are born again, you see some of them, they have already concluded what they want before asking God. That is the problem we are, we have. I heard some, somebody came to me a long time, some time ago and said, I have seen a man. I said, okay, good. And this man has a wife uh, He's married to the wife traditionally. I said, okay. Um, now, the man, I find the man. I don't know if this is the man I want to marry. I said, what do you mean? I thought you said you are finding a man that will employ you, maybe in the place of job. What are you talking about? Eh, because he marries the wife traditionally. What are, what are people saying? And I want you to cancel me. To tell me if he's the right man. Can you see? That I should come and counsel you. To tell you. If he's the right man. Can you imagine? So you have already agreed. To a married man. So you are trying to use the excuse that he was married. What is a traditional marriage? Is it not a bright price being paid? Every country has that tradition. He said, okay, like the man was in another nation. He has a traditional marriage in his own country. Now, I think he said the man was in U.S. or Canada. And he has a wife back at home that he did. I'm like, okay, which one is the tradition now? I don't understand. Oh, maybe because they didn't go to court. Or because they did not go to church. You understand? I was kind of, and it becomes so difficult to counsel, realizing that this person have already 
concluded. It's falling, has fallen very hard. And now you are asking me what do I said? Well, it is somebody else's marriage. If you are going to settle with that man in that place, know that you are settling down with another man's husband. And the Bible says, What God joined together, let no man put us on that there will be a price to pay. You know, when there are many believers, there are some people, they come for prayer. You see their prayer request, you already know. God will tell you, these ones have already decided what they want. No matter what you say, they will not take it. They have already decided that this is the job I want. Even if God is saying that this is not the job that you should do, they have already decided no matter how much you pray and counsel them, they will not listen. They will even disappear if you are not careful. That is the ignorance of people. Not that these people are witches. That is why I said pay attention to this message. But they are being disobedient. They are responding to their own needs more than God's needs for their life. Because the person now that this wants choose over you have destroyed their life, their career. Have destroyed. The day that such man now or such woman that I just use as an, as an illustration now, I am not telling you as an example. It's something that is happening now. This now, now, so I'm talking to you this period, this season. So that you don't think that it's something that happened 10 years ago. On this same earth that we are in now, the person they choose after you destroy them. You know, they will always say that had I know always become the last. And I know. So I am in I mean, I am is it indulging? I am begging you. You might not have them back into your life, but please pray for them. Pray for them because disobedience will take so many people to where they are not supposed to go to. The grass is not greener at anywhere. It is how you take care of what you have that will make it to become greener. The grass is not greener. There is no one that has it all complete. It is how you water your feed that will make it greener. It is how you build your career that will make it successful. It is how you water your marriage that will make it lovable. It is how you train your children. That will make them become who they are. The Bible says, train up a child the way he should grow. When he grows, he will not depart from it. Can you understand? So it is how you make things to be. That is how it become. Some people are like, ah, that woman is more intelligent. This my fiancé, this my wife is a liability. It's a lie. Let them go to the woman that is more intelligent. It's just a matter of time. They will realize that their own career has been put, has been put on hold. Oh, this man, this my husband is so bad, is so wicked. Ah, that my ex is better. Oh, that man that I'm seeing in my place of work is better. Let the woman go and test them out. It is only a matter of time. She will also realize that the grass was never greener at any way. It was never greener at any way. <clears throat> the person they choose after you destroyed their life. This is not because they were witches. That is why they choose somebody else after you know. It is because they were ignorant. Yes, they were ignorant. They were ignorant. They did not see beyond what they want now, now, now. They did not see beyond what they want and allow what God needs for them to materialize. I don't know, sometimes you are like, I will never pray for such people. I understand. But the person that owns this message is not for everybody. You already know what I'm talking about. You can see their own life being ruined. Why? Because they choose the wrong person over you. You might not accept them back, but God wanted to pray for them. Maybe they can also be delivered. I pray God will help us in the name of Jesus. 
It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.